Hey guys, welcome to this wafer paper eucalyptus tutorial. So first I start with white wafer paper and I cut out some circles. These are about one inch and I'm just cutting them into random shapes. They're almost like a rounded heart shape. So I'm just cutting those out. I'm adding some green gel food coloring and I'm mixing it with Everclear. You can also use vodka or a lemon extract. And I lay them down on some Zen Logi parchment paper and then I just start painting them. Sometimes the paint does go through to the back so you won't have to paint the back of them, which is great. And I just leave them here until they're nice and dry. After that, I just paint some extra little pieces and I cut out some really tiny squares and this is going to be the back of the leaf. So I just lay down my little petal there and I add my edible glue and then I add a floral wire and then that little tiny square and I glue these all with my edible glue. The edible glue is available on my website for purchase. So you can see here, I have my glue, I put down my wire, a little bit more glue, and then I'm adding that little tiny square there. And then you just press it firmly together and it dries pretty quickly. When those are dry, I like to dry them standing straight up into a piece of styrofoam so that they're not touching anything. And this is what it looks like. That's just one of them. I'll continue to make the rest. When they're all dried and assembled, I'm going to get some floral tape and I'm adding it to a floral wire. I'm just making the first uh, connection here at the end. The first one's a little bit hard. You just kind of gotta stick it to your wire, make sure it has a good adhesion. And then you can pick up your first little petal leaf here and start adding it to the floral wire and just make sure you wrap the floral tape around that wire. I usually go at least one time around. I like to pick up the leaves with the pliers and I grab it by the wire and then I add the second wire really close to the first wire so it almost looks like it's overlapping. So don't worry about that. We'll fix those at the end and wrap it tightly around. And if you're using floral tape, if you've never used it before, you just pull the floral tape, uh, not until it breaks, but just pull it enough to activate the glue in it. And that's what makes it sticky. So I added my leaf there, and then I roll the floral tape tightly around all of those wires there. And you keep doing that kind until of close to the end, but you do want to leave enough room at the end to stick it into your cake.
now that you've seen me making it in real time this is a time lapse just so you can kind of see the process a little bit faster here it's basically you just add another wire next to the original wire and you keep going down you're wrapping your floral tape around each wire to secure them and i just kind of go down to the end but i do leave enough room at the bottom to stick it into my cake When you're done adding all of your leaves there, I like to wrap the rest of the floral wire with the white floral tape, and then I'll go in and use the same color of gel color mixed with the Everclear and paint that wire so you don't see white and it's all the same matching green. This is what it looks like on the cake. I love it because it's lightweight and you can position them any way you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys.